Hey, it's Roman with Basic to Final. I'm pleased to announce our new DCS FA18C Study 101 series. It's a quick reference series designed to help you out with the F18. If you're looking for a more thorough and academic level series, I recommend you go check out our VMFA 251 training module series, link in the description and on your screen. In this video, we're going to be looking at the shore stutter procedures for the F18, some of the references and checklists which I've been using, such as the NATOPS, um, some of the other NATO publications, uh, publication I've kind of put together, and some PCLs, pocket checklists, which I've been working on as well. Links in the description where you can download these items if you like them. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're sitting here on the Tonopah Alpha ramp. And we're going to go ahead and amend our startup procedures. We're going to turn our battery power on and bring the canopy down because it is raining and I do not want to get wet. Okay, that's set. We're going to assume we've already done our interior checks. Our battery switch is on and we'll test our fire warning circuit A. Engine fire left. Engine fire left. Engine fire right. Engine fire right. APU fire. APU fire. Bleed air left. Bleed air left. Bleed air right. Bleed air right. Okay, that sounded good. Go ahead and cycle our battery. And we'll do our B circuit test. Engine fire left. Engine fire left. Engine fire right. Engine fire right. APU fire. APU fire. Bleed air left. Bleed air left. Bleed air right. Bleed air right. Okay, that was good. Switch back to norm. APU cumulative light is out. APU on. And we'll be looking for that green ready light. APU cumulative light is now on. Okay, green light just came on. Watching the IFE here. We can go ahead and do a right engine crank. You can see the percent RPM. Percent RPM starting to come up. NatOp says wait for at least 15%. ED says wait for 25%. I've tested both and I have not seen much of a difference. Okay, there's 25% in certain fuel. I was going to idle. Temperature spiked. It's going to spike again. I'll come up to about 5,000, um, excuse me, 500 degrees Celsius. It comes up to 750, 800. You know you've got a problem. Okay, there's a good light off. Temperature's coming up. 540 percent RPM going to 66 percent. We hear our audio warnings. Roll left, roll left. Right Flight there. controls. Flight controls. Okay, good audio warnings. Clear our master caution. Left DDI on. Right DDI on. Color display on. HUD on. UFC on. Attitude switch set to radar. Radios. We can tune our radios. Show you how to do that here. Clear it. Two, five, one, zero, zero, zero. Enter. And you can go and program that so you can talk to your woodmen while you get started up. Okay, radios are tuned. Lights, we can set them up as required. Formation lights, position lights, strobe lights, interior lights if you'd like. I like to keep my interior lights off until I do my warning uh, light test. It just makes it easier for me. Okay, we've set up our lights. Bleeder knob. We'll cycle it 360 degrees through the offs. Back to norm. That was good. Canopy's already closed. Left DDI going to the FCS page. Right DDI bit page. We'll stop the flashing. Okay. Warning and caution test. <laughs> side up to the AOA, right side down to the hook, and panel, looks good. Okay, left engine crank, 
watching the percent RPM and temperature. Wheel pressure is coming up. Okay, we've got 25%. Well, it's going to idle. Temperature's coming up now. There's a good light off. Temperature's climbing. Spike that 510. Low pressure is good. Percent RPM is good. Okay, that is good to go. We drop down this caution, hit the master caution, and it drops it down. Low bogs, system is now on. We had our deedle deedle. Hook bypass set to short. Our field, excuse me. Radar set to operate. INS set to ground. See here on the HSI, we've got a qual time and a timer. In about three minutes, we can set our INS to nav. We'll get an OK on the screen. OK, FCS. You see the X's. We'll clear that out. Reset that. Flaps go to auto for the bit test. Flaps are now auto. FCS bit switch. Yankee key on your keyboard. Click that. FCS bit and FCS bit OSB. You can see it's now in test. See the FCS system doing its thing. Okay, we've got the audio tone and we've got four goes, so that means we are good to go. Okay, flight controls and FCS check. You can check this on the FCS page, watch your stabs, full aft, full forward, ailerons, left and right. You do a rudder check when you're taxiing, I'll do one now. That looks good. Do a aft, stabs again, there we go. That looks good. Okay, flight control check is good. We can throw it and put our time on the HUD, just go down here, time UFC, do your Zulu time or local time, throw Zulu on the HUD, that's useful for squadron time on targets and changing the Rolex and all that good stuff there, nice little reference. Okay, with that set, we go ahead and do flaps for takeoff, which is half flaps, takeoff trim, push that, stab should be set to 12, they are. That's a good to go. Four down check. Tail hook coming down. Pedal heat on. That's cool. Probe extent. Launch bar. Extent. Speed brake. Extent. Let's see, we've got everything extended there. While that's happening, we can go ahead and set up our navigation stuff. Come down here to data. Set up your waypoints in here. Go up here to TACAN. Set up your TACAN. Go to 77. X-ray. Enter. Turn that on. That's good to go. You can listen to the Morse code by turning that up. Next time it transmits, you'll hear it. I'm going to turn that off, though. So navigation is set up. Check your HSI again. You can see we've got the OK symbol. So we go ahead and do INS to NAV. That's good to go. We'll set our bingo. Looking for 2000. That flight. OK, bingo is set. OK, RWR tests. Come straight down here. Turn on the RWR. EW page. I like to do a bit test. Okay, RWR is set, and we did our bit test. Standby attitude indicator, uncaged. 
Barometric altimeter, we can set that there. Radar altimeter alert, we can go ahead and set that here. Okay, 200 feet. Okay, set that. Four down, we normalize. That check, back to normal, Peter heat back to auto. Probe to retract, launch bar to retract, and close our speed brake. Speed brake went away. Okay, that is good to go. Altitude warnings, we can set that up here on the HSI page. Go to data, aircraft, barrel. I like 10,000. That's 10,000. Hit enter. Boom. As I cross through 10,000 descending, I'll get the altitude, altitude alert. That's kind of handy. Okay, lights as required. I'll turn up some console lights, exterior lights, whatever you need to do. Uh, per your SOP. Okay, we're ready for our taxi checks. Restraints are set. Left EDI goes to checklist page. Right DDI goes to FCS page. Parking brake comes off. You can see it's off because you see the emerge on the handle for emergency. We do our brake check. And that's a good brake check. We can now do our nose wheel steering check. Nose wheel steering. It's working pretty good. We'll do a nose wheel steering high here in a second. And there's high, and that's definitely working. Okay. With that complete, we'll go ahead and taxi to the hold short line and do our pre takeoff checklists. Okay, we're at the hold short line. We're holding short. We'll do our pre takeoff checklist. Seat is armed. Aircraft weight over here on the checklist page. We can note that. Calculated our V speeds ahead of time in our flight planning. Takeoff brief is complete. We'll do that. Uh, you can reference what a good takeoff brief is in our VMFA 251 training modules. Takeoff checklist controls. We've already done this with the FCS, but you can check it again. Do buddy checks. Those are good. Wings are out locked. Takeoff trim. 12 on the stabs. That's good to go. Flaps are set to half. Hook is up. Harness is set. Warning lights. I don't have anything illuminated, so I'm good to go there. This right here, this advisory is just a bug at the moment. Nose bear. Steering is in low. Seat is armed. Takeoff checklist complete. Left EDI to the HUD. And that's it. We are ready to contact ATC and take off. If you'd like to download the checklists and reference documents that I've put together and the documents that I use, you can do so in the link in the description. Also, you can find the VMFA 251 website, the squadron that I have the pleasure of flying with, in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you found these videos to be worth your time, please consider helping us out by liking, commenting, or subscribing below. We put a lot of time and effort into these videos, and it really does help us out. For more content from basic to final, please go ahead and check out our page. We'll be putting out more content here in the future. Again, thanks for watching.